Hello Dyson, welcome to today's art lesson. Okay, let me share my screen with you. Oh. Okay, today our learning objective is, can I paint a flower in the style of Georgia O'Keeffe? Your turn. Good. Okay, do you remember who Georgia O'Keeffe is? We talked about her in the last art lesson, didn't we? Georgia O'Keeffe is an artist from America who is very famous for painting flowers. She was born in the year 1887 and she died in 1986. My goodness, that's a long time ago, isn't it? So we are going to have a look at lots of different Georgia O'Keeffe paintings and you need to soak in all the ideas and everything that she does in her paintings and then try it yourself, okay? So we're going to have a look and, and see what we notice about them, okay? So you might recognise this one from um, the last lesson. This is a Georgia O'Keeffe painting. Well, I notice that flower takes up most of the space. What else can you see? Hmm. I see she doesn't use many colours, does she? You can see she's used white and then she's added black to make it darker. And she's used white and added it to the blue in the background to make it lighter. So she uses shading. Remember our shading from last lesson? That's why it was important that you tried to do it with one colour. OK, let's have a look at another one and see what we see. This is a beautiful painting of a poppy, isn't it? What do you notice about this painting? Well. I notice that she's not used many colours again, has she? She's used black, white, red, lots of different shades of red, and then a tiny bit of green. But I notice with most with a lot of George O'Keeffe's paintings, she doesn't use she doesn't draw a lot of the stem or the leaves. She focuses all on the flower and fills her whole page with the flower. Oh, same with this one. She's done three flowers in one painting, hasn't she? But she's not got many of the leaves. She's got a few, but not many of those leaves. And again, she's using lots of different shades of the same colours, isn't she? Wow, this is a beautiful purple one, isn't it? Exactly the same thing again. She's using a nice simple colour for the background, blues and greys. And then she's used one colour, but used darker shades and lighter shades to make the flower look 3D, didn't she? They're beautiful. There's another one. Take a nice close look lovely dark shades and light shades all on one leaf of green and the same with the white so beautiful on the petals here we go here's a simple yellow flower looks to me like a courgette flower um and again she's used one color yellow and that green for the leaf and lots of different shades to make it look three dimensional. Okay. I'm going to show you these just quickly and we'll, we'll hop over them and get to our activity, okay? They're all very beautiful though, aren't they? Okay. George O'Keefe painted flowers as big as possible. So they take up the whole page. There's hardly any background, hardly any stem, and hardly any leaf. And that is what you're going to try and do today. 
the colours in her paintings are bright and a word vivid, which means really bright and stand out, and it's the colour stands out. And the background is always coloured, but there's hardly any of it that you can see. Okay, so first it's my turn. So um, when you do this, you can either draw a flower from your garden, or if you've got flowers um, at home in your in a vase, then that's great. Um, if you don't, I have a couple of pictures of flowers that you can look at to paint your flower. In fact, I don't have any flowers. I have one little flower on my rose plant in the other room and it hasn't opened yet. I was hoping it would open so I could draw it, but it hasn't. So I've got a picture of a flower there and this is the one that I'm going to be attempting to paint today. Okay, so when you do this, you will need a flower or the picture of a flower, paper, a pencil to draw your flower first, then paint, water and paint brushes. Um, I'm doing it with watercolour because it's what we should be doing it with in school. If you don't have watercolour, that's OK as well. You can use paints, you can use crayons or colouring pencils, but it's important that you really take care it's not a it's not a scribbling thing. Art is something that you should really focus and take care um, painting the detail. OK, so it's my turn first. You're going to watch what I do to create my flower. Now, I'm going to try my hardest and that's all you can ask, isn't it? So I have drawn, can you see, that pink flower that was on slides I've drawn it so it fills the whole page I've only got little bits of background here haven't I okay I'm going to tilt you down so you can see my painting and then I'm going to also put my mixing palette there so hopefully hopefully this works okay dip my paintbrush in the water. Okay, let's tilt you down. Right, can you see that? Okay, so here's my painting and here's my mixing palette and I've got my paints just here. Okay, so on that picture I had um, all the leaves were a light pink but they were all different, different shades of pink. So I'm going to put, I'm going to mix some colours. I've got a purple there. I'm going to mix some white into that to make it even lighter. Then I'm going to be really gentle and gently paint each leaf. Now, each leaf, if you look carefully enough at each of your leaves, each of your petals, they're all different shades. Even within one petal, the colours are different. So really try, if there's a little darker speck, I see a darker speck um, on one of my petals, really try to add that detail. Do you see how I've done that there? There we go. And you want to keep mixing and being really careful. Keep mixing the colour that you see in. Can you see that? Yeah. In your painting. OK, so I'm going to keep mixing because you need lots of different colours. OK. And you want to one petal at a time, you want to really take care to paint as much detail as you can, just like that. 
a tiny bit of darker because there's darker edges but only just gently do you see how how carefully I'm having to do that it's also darker down at this down at this bit here then in the picture the the outside leaves are, are even it's actually darker I think my internet cut out just then for a second hopefully nothing's missing okay still recording Woo! I'm gonna put you back right do you see do you see that how it's darker underneath the petals and then it gets lighter it's need to be you need to be really careful and maybe even take take your time with your painting to make sure it's got as much detail as possible in it okay okay and then i'm going to leave those petals for now and i'm going to paint these smaller petals and for those i'm going to have to mix a slightly different color because they're a little bit darker than these outside petals so a little bit darker but I'm still adding white to the dark colour to make it lighter do you see that okay and then I'm going to really carefully paint all the tiny petals that I've drawn make sure you take your time to add detail because Georgia O'Keeffe uses lovely shades, doesn't she? Let me add some detail to there. So I need an even lighter colour to add little light bits, lighter ones. I'm looking carefully at my flower picture, make sure all of the petals are the right colour. Okay, then I'm going to leave that bit for now because I know you probably want to get painting, don't you? Um, the centre bit on my picture was green. So now I need to mix a green colour. It was a very, very light green. So let's see what colour we can make. Oh dear. I think I need to clean my white. It's getting a bit mucky. Okay, let's see what we can do. Really, really light green for the centre might even be too dark so what you can do with watercolors is you can wait for a while and paint over the top of them and then mix the colors on the paper to make it even um that to make it a different color if it if it's a slightly wrong color do you see I've added that layer of a slightly different green. Might use some of the lighter green too. Go. Adding detail and shading to my painting as I go. Do you see that? Okay, and the very last thing I want to talk to you about is the background now on Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings the background is usually gray or blue different shades of gray and blue as well it's not just one color so I'm going to mix a see what kind of blue I can make for the background 
that's definitely too dark. So let me get some white and add some white in there. There we go. That's quite good. So I'm going to really carefully paint the background different shades of blues and if you want to greys you can have a look back at her paintings in the slides and see what you like about the different paintings and see which colour background you would like to paint with they don't have to can be your choice you see that Lots of different shades of blue. OK, I'm going to leave you to paint because I know that you probably want to get started, but I'm going to finish my painting um, because we need them for the next art lesson. OK, so if even if it takes you a few days, work hard on this painting, make it your absolute best work for me. OK. And what I'm going to do now, just quickly, is share the screen again and show you those two flowers. So if you don't have a flower at home, you, you're very welcome to draw this flower or and pause me here, or you can draw the flower that I've been drawing. OK. Right. Rewind this video if you need to. and use the ideas from Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings for your own beautiful painting. I'm really looking forward to seeing them on tapestry. Okay, see you soon Dyson, bye!